Okay, let's try something different. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Edward III and this is Life is Strange. We are just about to go into episode 4 and... well, yeah, episode 4 and... Uh, since last time I've been playing this, I have upgraded my computer a little bit, so it should be better graphics and better recording. So, hopefully, let's go straight in there. At this precise moment, I'm getting like 20 to 30 frames, apparently. Previously on Life is Hello. Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Yeah, the graphics is less jumpy, a lot less jumpier. Let's talk about your superpower. I like this. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Delma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! And there you go, guys. That There was the, um... Previous episode, what I think was the Chaos Fear. <coughs> Life is uh, Life is Strange is a story-based game that features players' choice. The consequences are ah okay. Then. <laughs> Fine then, fuck you. Right, let me just put the uh, microphone over this way a little bit because it is really close to me. Ah shit, no, not that. I've got so many wires over here, guys. It's insane. It's actually obscuring my vision a little bit. So I'll just stick you there, and you go there, point you down a little bit, so you're out of my vision, there we go. I want to play, I want to play. Yeah, the graphics now is so much better than what they used to be, um, because I, instead of using a 580 to run this game, I'm not, I'm using a 750 Ti, so... Hopefully, graphics would be so much better. The frame rate's so much better, I'd give it that one. Love the songs on here. I want to do a live stream of the last one on there, but a lot of people have already seen um, Life is Strange, and what comes out of it is just, you know, it, I, I do it, I might be late on it and everything, but I still love doing the, um, videos and that, I still love watching the gameplays and stuff like that, you know, because it's awesome. I will always like these because of the storylines, mainly. It's Ooh, weird hanging out with you again. <coughs> I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. 
And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. That's beautiful. Those beach whales are so sad. Except for the... yeah. I don't know how they feel. Except for those whales. At least, I'm alive here with you. That's pretty sad now You're because she's... Oh. Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Yeah. See, uh, talk about the accident. Um, yeah, talk about the accident. I would. Where's my mouse? There we go. Are you okay? Why didn't you want to kick in? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Yeah, that's all you need to do is um, slip a vertebrae in your spinal cord and that's it, you're screwed. But, uh, what missing girl? Uh, you mean Rachel. Uh, da -da 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 -da, go for that one. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Snow? Wait, hold up, what? I, I, I sort of zoomed out on that bit then. Um, I'm just gonna go for a swing and a miss here and go, it might be... you think? Don't say that, fuck it. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. Seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you anymore. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Mmm. Absolutely changed. Oh yeah, by the way, if you heard me burp, sorry. I tried to keep my mouth closed, but it still came out quite loud. Um, I'm drinking coffee, so that's why I know it's my first coffee of this morning, so... But yeah, no, the way that she she's changed in this one is it's completely like different from what she was, because I remember her being like, oh, hello, and all this, and it's like always in your face, and now she's just completely laid back, just wanting to basically get through a life day to day or even just that depressed it's it's a horrible feeling and it's a horrible sight where you have to go 
try and keep your friends from getting into that depressed um, state. So. High tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard. <coughs> They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. But that, you know. Cody, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Uh, see, I, if I could, I would literally do everything I can to help, um, people with that type of disability. I would do literally my best to sort of aid them. I know that I can't, but if I could and there was the technology to do it, then I would. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. Yeah. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Really? <laughs> Power Rangers? We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> it went a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? You have me. I don't care about everybody else, she has me. Well, I do care about everybody else. I mean, when you're in that situation, you know. I chill. I loved your cards and photos, but I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Mm. Of course she's lonely. Don't you ever ask that. They love you. Are you okay? Are they okay? Question mark. I don't want to ask if she's lonely because I know what the answer is going to be towards that one. It's going to be yes. I mean when you're in that situation you are lonely and it's the worst feeling that you can go through. But... Are they okay? They love you. She probably already knows that they love her. So are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Yeah, and you keep blaming everything on yourself, and it it, it shouldn't be that way. No one, if you've been in a car crash and you've survived, and you're in this situation, never blame yourself, ever, because it you can't control life like that and it, a lot of people try to and you know karma's just going to come around and bite you in the ass if you do try to so the way that I sort of deal with life I mean 
would be pretty simple is just live the day as it comes by so and you'll always be happy that way I mean you'll always have the odd person will give you a bit of grief now and then but that's in the moment here and now it's never in the future it's never in the past so I don't look to my past and I don't look to my future I'm always the here and now um, and I've completely forgot of um, you know fuck it I bet oh yeah it was the bill thing I bet this tech must be crazy expensive along with the drugs the nurses the supplies mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated is it worth it Chloe it's always worth it uh, no pun intended you are such a geek that's why I love you of course, I know a geek when I do one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. See, that's um amazing. Uh um, Wait, what do I do? What am I getting? Movie. So I need to switch on the TV, do you? DVD player. Max, Cut. it's so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Such. Oh my ah. god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Oh god, wow. Yeah, pirate power. My bad. I went looking through the wrong drawer. Is it this one? DVDs. Uh, here's the DVD. And we're gonna stick the DVD in there. Oh, let's do 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 do. Still love the graphics on this game, though. I mean, the graphics are beautiful. I wouldn't mind getting a 980 Ti boost and then put it on full graphics and see what it looked like then with a proper die. i7 quad core full gigahertz on each set that would be beautiful my god I could pretty much run every goddamn game on like the best graphics that money can buy oh well could always dream <laughs> And, uh, don't fall asleep I say you always do that I say <laughs> I say <laughs> I tried to make it funny good morning sleepy I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you I know you were beat down after the day with me. Well, Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. And you used to be Deckard as replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were those pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, 
I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, pretty please, go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this bag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. You're a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. <sighs> oh, I feel so sorry for the girl. Bathroom. So, so sorry for the girl. I, I literally do feel so sorry for anybody what has to go through that. I really do. Because, like, it, it, it's got to be fucking hell to um, go through all that. Hello. Right. Uh, where's the light switch? Switch on. Switch on. Uh, cabinet. Cabinet. I don't know which one it is. Such. Nothing here. Okay, no. I mean, I remember this last time. It's that cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. She, I mean, there wasn't half of this. It was all, well, makeup and stuff. What was over there, and then down across there, and this cabinet was full of the the stuff. Looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Exactly. That's what I just said. I didn't. I just say that. <coughs> Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, that's another thing. I can't do morphine any type of um, syringe or anything like that. I just... Oh. <laughs> the physical... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which room is this one anyway? I think this is her room still. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my. Whoa. If you guys remember the last episode I think I've done on this, this was full. I guess oh, we crap. stopped growing up together. Twelve for this. Is so that first or second? I don't know, I can't read it. 12 for the f first 2005. You're not much short, taller than what that is now. So, yeah. You don't grow up too much. Sit. Okay. I never heard much about William's brother. Oh crap, I just breathed in there. Um. Hi Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the ele What's I say? E C C I D E N T. I don't fucking know. E sended E sent whatever. Has uh work has been piling up and I'm being sent to salt. Lake City to uh, uh, dude your writing is bad right hang on wait uh, I keep fucking forgetting about that shit oversee a new parking lot you have to go where the work is these days I wish I could ha have sent you a bigger check but you know the story money is no one Nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Uh, hang in there, Bill. Your brother. Um, Aaron. Aaron! Aaron! No, that's Alan. I'm thinking of Alan! Uh, look at the box. Yes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. These boots are made for I walking. Open this and see what's in here. Then have a look. You know, it's not exactly hard. You just pop it open and close it up again. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Yeah, um... Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. 
Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me up to date on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the state air uh, struggle you and William, William are going through. I am so sorry that I cannot can't help you with the with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I under I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wish best best wishes. Fuck's sake. Speak English, Ed. Love and Dorothy Dorothy, sorry. That's um Oh, it's I'm a sure butterfly it's effect. A total coincidence. No, that there is definitely the butterfly effect. Basically, young lady, you have gone back in time, pissed about with stuff, and come back through time on the other side of fuck you, you stupid young girl playing around with time. I don't know. Speak. Hey, William. Oh. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Care room, Chloe Joyce, leave. Um, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She mad at me. Glad you're here. Uh, She's gonna be mad at me. I'm she gonna fuck. She's mad at me for not staying in touch. She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. I but hate that. I know that. how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Um I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yeah, nah. Do you guys hate it where your parent doesn't turn around and say I don't I I'm not angry with you, I'm just disappointed. It's like it just Oh, it, it, it's like it gets hold of the nerve and it just fucking... It's like you just getting a knife. Knife and just sort of poking at your spine nerve. It's just like... Yeah, that's just gone right through my whole body. Why couldn't you just turn around and say you hate me? <laughs> it would be so much easier. Finally. Oh. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Testica! Wait, what? <coughs> My pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I bet you the good day is still a bad day. I'm able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Give Do me my leg. Um, Ow! Stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some of the pictures of us. Oh, kids. there we go. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Sorry, but... What's with this emo crap? Where's the photo thing? Oh, I'm um, there. Uh, take. I mean, neither of them are anywhere near emo. I mean, I thought 
emos. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're an emo, you can sort of turn around and tell me if I'm correct or not, but I thought they are people who are extremely, like, extremely depressed, and they go through pretty much every day hoping that life would get better, but somehow doesn't actually go their way or something. It's not like it's bad on their half, it's just be quiet. But it's not It's not bad on their hand, but it's like they just feel like everything's up against them all the time and it's just depressing. Oh that's what I think it is. I'm not too sure. I have a couple of friends with are emos and they're lovely, lovely people and they normally seem that they have a good time and everything, but there's something what's in their lives what is, you know, depressing or they've gone through something that's done something or whatever in their lives. Anyway, let's shut up. I'm watching. Is that okay? Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at me. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. I am so goddamn hot. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just going to take my sh uh, well, my top off. I'm using a hoodie and a shirt underneath, and I am sweating. Do do do. Uh, God damn it. Too warm. Too warm. Oh, less warmth. You can go over there. I need to go get all of my camera again, but I want to get a better camera. Wait, what were you saying? I didn't hear you. I have my headset off. Right, ten page. Oh, awesome picture. You look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Okay, there wasn't anything there. Right, let's turn page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. Wait, so five years 18. ago. She's 17 so now. Maybe I could... Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. Uh-oh. I've heard the doctors talking about it, and they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. So basically, she wants this to be her last moment. In reality, I would, if, right, let's put it this way, if my mother turned around and asked me to end her life because she was in this situation, I wouldn't because, you know, that's my mother. If a friend asked me, I would think about it long and hard and then think on their best interest or their on their behalf and think would they want to go through life like this or would they um would they uh would ever it's really annoying because you don't want to go through life being hated by the people 
that you love and care for because you basically killed their daughter or their son or their father or their mother or whatever but you don't want to be hated by the one person that you care the most for I would instant ah uh, I'm gonna say I don't know to be honest because Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all and I did everything I could to try and save her life how can I be responsible for ending yours I mean there's got to be another way Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Right. This is where my brain instantly just goes, right, fuck it. She's been at the mercy of everybody else. And everybody else has denied the given right to basically die. And... I am going to fuck what happens in the future and all the rest of it. I will do it for her. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. Oh, I hate myself now. Oh, Jesus, why did I end up doing that? I hope I go back to the normal place. I really do. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. I literally don't know what to say. There you go. No. Where'd you go? Oh, release. Wait. There you go. Old space to auto focus. Yeah, fuck that. I just done it, but... <laughs> Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the Flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get going. Of course I'll come pick you up. Ha! 
You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting today. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be the true right. He's never really. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. <laughs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. And it comes out again. I should uh, end the video here pretty soon. <coughs> okay, so I think there's a little cutscene here, and then after the cutscene, I oh, will end the video. But yeah. This is getting deep now. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Right. There you go, guys. I'm going to end the video here, so if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. It would really help towards the channel and the community. Um, also, there will be other video. Well, there are vi other videos on this, and all of them are like uh, between 15 and 30 minutes long, so you should be able to watch them. Um, the sound at the end of those go a bit funny. Um, don't worry, it's just basically me coming out with my outro and stuff like that, so you're not missing out on much. Um, but yeah, I hopefully will see you guys in the next video, and um, have a good day, so yeah, bye-bye.